All right, folks, if you saw our latest video, you know that we just ran a hose under the deck here uh, for the garden. So go back and watch that video if you can. And today we're gonna be hiding that hose. We're gonna be putting it in this PVC and painting it to look nice under the deck. So stay tuned, we'll be taking care of that. Now we're going to disconnect our hoses, get the water out, and we're gonna take our PVC pipe and start pushing it back through the dirt back to the foundation, get it back all the way to the back, and now that we know that the deck is about 11 foot 6 inches, we're going to go back about a foot from that and make a mark with our painter's tape to know where we're going to cut. Don't cut on the tape, just cut on either side. Now here we're going to pull the PVC out, get all the dirt out of it, and make a sanity check to see that our measurement it is approximately correct. We actually ended up at 9 foot 7 inches, which is a little bit more than I thought, uh, but that's okay because that, we want to have some slack in the hose and we want it to be tucked away nicely under the deck. Now we're just going to use our Sawzall, our favorite tool of choice to cut PVC, and we're going to feed our hose back through. Now we're just going to push this pipe back and try to leave a little slack so that you don't pinch your hose. Okay folks, that's it. We, Our PVC is in there. We'll come back, take that tape off, give it a little spray paint just to mask it under there. But it looks good. I, I think it's kind of holding itself. I thought about raising it up, just holding it to the deck, or letting it lie low I was afraid that it would slide this way and I would have to use a maybe a landscaping stake to hold down the hose which would also block the PVC from moving but, but I don't think we're in a rush to do that actually this is working and it's kind of wedged itself in uh, the dirt on the bottom and a deck board on top I can tell it's holding it pretty tight I did check the hole that we drilled uh, the hose has got some slack to it uh, I'm sure I can move this hose back and forth if I needed to, so I don't think in, no, there's nothing being pinched. I don't see the PVC, so it's not very close to the hole or to the wall, to the foundation. So it, we've got about 11 feet, or what did I say, 10 feet, 7 inches, or 9 feet, 7 inches, um, of protected hose now. So I think this can work out better, um, protect our hose from any critters. Definitely don't want to have to buy a new hose. Definitely don't want to have to do this again and fish a new hose. Uh, so here we are. It's looking good. We'll, we'll come back and clean it up. We're almost done. Since we have this Rust-Oleum Universal Hammered Paint and Primer in one brown, we're going to use this to cover up this PVC, make it look a little bit nicer, and give it a hammered metal finish look. Uh, this stuff worked really great on the um, pegboard that I did. If you, if you remember that video, or if you haven't seen it, go back and watch that video. I used this to cover up an old pegboard that was just, had, uh, it wasn't end of life, but it had definitely reached its uh, heyday. So this helped to mask that, made it look a lot nicer on there. So we're gonna use that here and take off our tape, cover this, uh, this uh, PVC with this nice brown hammered paint to definitely hide it. Okay folks, this provides a nice finished look, I think. It, uh, it almost disappears in the shadows, but hi. Okay folks, what do you think? This looks much more finished to me. Uh, some ways it turned out better than I had hoped. Um, that white PVC disappeared. The whole thing almost disappeared. It's in the shadows, but if you're looking for it, it looks like, it looks like it's meant to be there. It looks, it looks like that pipe is uh, you know, it's, it, as time goes on, it'll look aged and kind of smooth out. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Hope this tip helps you. Stay tuned, we'll be back for more. You'll see what we're doing in the garden this year. Give us a like and a subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Homestead, y'all.